Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is the Wargaming Guy, and this is Patton Drives East. Uh, now, this course is part of the latest release that Matrix Game has done of the old, uh, older Strategic War games, the ones that came out uh, from uh, the SC2 line, you might call it. And we're going to play Patton Drives East. I told you when I reviewed this that this was one of my uh, favorite. Uh, games. I had a fantastic war game with this once, and let's see if we could maybe recapture some of the glory days and see what it's like. So Patton drives these. Here's the victories. Uh, surprise attack by American forces in July of 1945 marked the start of World War III. Following the surrender of Germany on May 8, 1945, the Soviet Union began to demobilize their forces. So you can see you're going to be starting off against something weaker than historical. Because otherwise, this probably wouldn't work. And shift industrial production to consumer goods. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union, or I'm sorry, the United States and Britain reinforced their forces stationed in Western Europe in accordance with a secret post-war plan to end the threat of communism forever. So this is a fantasy. This is not what would have happened if you had historic levels of troops stacked up against each other. Russians on one side, Western allies on the other that would be an interesting uh, game to play, but this is not that game. Uh, okay, Prime Minister Churchill supported the plan in the hope that it would reverse the labor landslide projected for a July 1945 election in Great Britain, in addition to crushing the communist menace forever. President Truman and the American Industrial Military Complex supported the attack on the Soviet Union as it would forestall the publicly demanded demobilization of the American armed forces and ensure high employment at home. The initial attack by Western allies caught the Soviet forces by surprise. Long-range airstrikes decimated supply centers and the Soviet front lines. The advancing American and British forces quickly reached the outskirts of Berlin. The survival of communism is threatened. So for me to win a major victory, I've got to have Washington, D.C., London, Paris, Rome, Berlin, Moscow, and Stalingrad. A minor victory means I just hold what I've got and take Berlin in the, uh, in the process. So basically, we're going for Moscow and Stalingrad then, obviously. So let's see how this goes. Now, remember, this is based on Strategic Command 2. Uh, let's go ahead and set this at intermediate and I'm playing the allies and that all looks pretty good. Uh, so you're going to have squares, not hexes. And, um, man, I'm hearing no game sounds at all, which I don't think is right. So hold on. Let's see. Options. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Advanced. Uh, I may have to fix this in the next game because I think maybe we can't get to the uh, to the sounds from here. And by the way, the game units you can do like that's all your choice is. So might as well have the bases on it. Just makes it easier to see. Or if you take 3D units off, you get that, which is hideous. So we'll go with this. Oh, settings. That's what I need. Uh, sound in music. All right, let's see if we can... I don't... Yeah, okay, I can kind of hear it. I don't want music, really, but sound is okay. All right, so here we go. Here's the setup. Now, you'll notice right away, the uh, we only have one armored unit. The Soviets have four that you can see. So, that's a little weird. Uh, we've got a lot of air power here. And uh, let's just click back to here. And you can see that, um, yeah, here we go. Here's our MPP level, which is pretty low for starts, but starters rather, but it'll get better. So let's go um, and let's go ahead and start with our long range bombers. Now, <clears throat> my big concern here, of course, are these uh, armored units. So we're going to um, take a shot at those and see what happens. I'm not sure how loud this is to you. It's pretty loud in my earbuds, so we may have to adjust. And um, yeah, there we go. Took him down one point, so that's pretty good. Now, one of the things here that I have not checked yet, took him down another point. 
which I need to do. I don't think all of these are, uh, a lot of these can be upgraded, not those. What about the American ones? Nope, really? I thought these could. I was wrong. All right. I don't know. Oh, these are UK bombers. That's why they're not as as advanced as they should be. All right, drawing the Russian fighters out. Let's see what we got going here. Nice. All right, now here come the more advanced American bombers. And I think what we're going to do is start working on this guy. You can see from looking at this that... Um, nice. That we definitely need to... Um, Upgrade, work on upgrades, work on getting a lot more uh, units here, particularly armored units. In fact, speaking of that, can we upgrade him? No, we can't. It might just be that we don't have enough MPPs, though. That's possible. So, okay. Um, yeah, that's so we can't reach that. All right. Um, let's go for this guy, then. Okay, good. Brought him down. And uh, can we reach that? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so... Oh, we still have more long range. Let's see what these guys can do. They can actually... Can they? Ah, they can't quite get there. All right, we'll take him. And not much happens. <laughs> can't win them all. Okay, and then there's this guy. Let's see. Oh, he can get elite reinforcements, though. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we are also going to see if we can get these guys to transport, because we're going to need the help, like, right away. Oh, yeah. And then you have to remember, but this is SC2, so you got to click the unload button. Uh, I think, actually, we shouldn't have much in the way of naval problems. I don't think, but we might. So we'll just check that. And now, fighter bombers. Um, here's some tactical bombers. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Beautiful. These are fighters, right? Uh, yep. That's fighters. Fighters. Coastal. Ah, okay. It must be a fighter. These are, but we can upgrade them. So I think, look at that. I want to do that first. Good. So we'll save that for next turn. Um,. Same with this guy. I hate to do it. I'd like to go ahead and strike this turn, but can this guy get up? Oh, he can, but let's see. What's the upgrade? It's just long range, but we'll take it. So I think we're in pretty good shape here, but this guy, actually, I'm going to go ahead and have attack. There we go. All right, so let's... Move out. We'll put you over here to guard the flank. You can see the uh, attack there. Attacker would be four, defender two. Not good. Come up here. It's one to one. It's probably not smart, but we're going to do it anyway, just to see if we can get rid of it. Pull. Hmm. Okay. No, we can't get there either, but you sure, certainly can't even talk. Can get there four to five or zero to six. Let's do that. There we go. Decimate his, uh, and he can't move anymore, can he? Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, what? How come he can't go there? What's. All right, there we go. It's not who I wanted. Uh, no, we're definitely not attacking with him, but we'll let him defend. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Nice. That's what we're talking about here. All right. Let's get you there. Let's pull you up anyway. 
you can I can't do anything with you. Didn't think so. I got like too many uh, units, so we're gonna pull Patton down here. This that's Clark. So we'll bring Eisenhower up here. We'll stick Alexander there. And we'll get you up here, too. And Clark can bring up the rear. <laughs> I'm sure he's thrilled about that. Okay. Uh, now, we do have some guys down here, including this guy. What did, how many MPPs do I have left? Uh, not that many. But maybe I can upgrade this guy, which would be good. At least upgrade the naval warfare part. Okay, that's good. Let's pull you up here to get you uh, in the uh, mountains, and we'll do the same with them. And I don't, this guy surely can be upgraded. Yes. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I didn't think so, but at least we can get him weaponized where we need him to be. Uh, okay. Anything else? Oh, this guy. So you can't double-click and strategically move either. That's not a part of this game system. So, um, And I'm pretty sure there's nothing here, but let's just go look. Ah, see, I was wrong, but there's nothing left that I can actually upgrade him with. But I think we'll go ahead and put him down by the port anyway. Might as well do that. Let's check North Africa. Um, okay, we're... Gibraltar's fine. Malta's fine. We just got basically a skeleton crew down here. So for now, that'll do. And I think that will do it for the first turn. So let's move on. Yes, I do want to end this turn and let's see what the Ruskies do. All right, we're getting our convoys going. And we'll see what happens. can see the Russians are starting to pull back. At least that artillery unit did. Darn it. But maybe I can get it with my air power. Take it out. You can see the Russians are not exactly helpless here. Ah! Bad. Uh-oh. I think he's going bye-bye. Oh, no. They're going to attack him. Good. All right. Ah, shoot. Oh, look at that. He advanced. Alexander's holding him off. Yeah, see, got to get rid of this armor, man. This armor is just killer. Oh, that's bad. He's going to die. He did. Okay, so. Ah, shoot. So this first turn's not starting off the way I was hoping. Didn't kill as many as I wanted. And I didn't really want to lose that many, if any, actually. But at the same time, the AI is kind of, you know, it's like they know they're going to be pushed back. It knows, but I keep saying they or he or whatever. Uh, all right. Never mind. Company, uh, a core company. Hello. All right. Let's put you in Bastin. There we go, and you are good, but you are not, so let's upgrade you. There we go. Okay, so I don't have a ton of MPPs either. Um, send, and we'll send one down here, just in case anything weird starts to happen. I don't want to waste MPPs on... Movement, so, okay. Um, well, wait a minute. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's, come on, fighters, take them down, take them out. Kill it of the Russian Air Force. Nice. Come on, you're not done yet. You might wish you were, but you're not. Yeah. Bummer. 
All right, let's let the Brits have a crack at him. Okay, that didn't exactly go over real well. Come on. What? Why aren't you... There's two strikes and there's nothing there. Okay, I don't understand that either. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is what we need here, people. Yeah, here come the fighters. And the escorts. All right, see if we can whittle this guy down, too. Okay, that's excellent. And evaded damage, that's even better. Come on, get him again. Beautiful. Ah, oh, love it. Yes, by charging forward like this, they actually came within my air umbrella, which is great for me. Not so much for them. But who cares if it's good for them or not, because I'm fighting for myself. Okay, let's pull you over here. And now we're going to beat up with these guys. Oh, so nice. Oh, wow. You need some help. Upgrade. Yeah, forget it. We'll reinforce you and upgrade you later. Yeah. yeah. Boy, look how much I lost on that just from the uh, the ability to fight. Uh, can I get that guy? I can. Oh. Forgot. Nice. Took him out with no loss. Now, kill him. Beautiful. That's what we're talking about. Uh, whoa, attacker four. <laughs> no, thank you. Don't like losing that heavily, but in this case, uh, I think it's going to be worth it. That's good. Ah, artillery. Good. Come on up. Take him. What? Get out. All right. Take him. Thank you. Um, I'm risking my only armored unit if I do this. Uh, but we want to take Berlin. I can take him out. Ooh, I could take him out. But look at the... Yeah, test. Now, I don't want to lose three. That's not good. We'll just do that. And I'm still losing three, three. Uh, that's Zhukov. Let's take, a, let's take a piece out of Zhukov. That's always fun. Um, let's get you back up to strength. Uh, let's get you moving. Oh, you can't. That's it. And I did move you, right? Yeah. All right, down here. Uh, well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, nice. Good. Awesome. So now, oh, see, when you click off of them, you can't move them again. So it's really important in this game to remember... Uh, you know, the order that you want to attack in. Um, let's see. Let's do that. All right. We didn't kill him, but we hurt him a little bit. Um, upgrade, really? What do I got? Oh, the motorization, right? Yeah. Definitely want that. And speaking of, um, we've got to start researching. Let's see, what have I got? 197 points, infantry, tanks are sad, aircraft are the Motorization, look at that, there's two and I've only got one level. So we're going to start with, I've got a lot of, inf well, I've got the infantry I need, right? So let's start with tanks. Yes, I do. All right, Americans, only 95, so that means I can't do a darn thing because I wasn't paying attention. So next turn. Next turn, we've got to start researching because uh, we do not want to get left behind on that. Can I? No, I can't. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Oh, there's Monte. Come along, Monte. Don't be a slackard. Oh, 72 points. Yeah. Oh, if we can upgrade. Yeah. Oh, definitely. 
Um, let's see. These guys are in pretty darn good shape, actually. But let's see. Let's go ahead and get this guy back up where he belongs. He's fine. Come on. Let's get you reinforced a bit. Because next turn, you're not going to get any, I don't think. Eisenhower. What happened to Bradley is what I want to know. I guess Brad went home. Um, you know what? Let's put you into port. And... Uh, Get you upgraded if necessary. Do we have... I don't see any others at the moment. What are you? You're okay? Well, either okay or... Well, yeah, they got five points. So <laughs> Obviously, they're not going to be upgraded at five points. Okay. All righty. I think that will do it for my second turn. So let's see how it goes. Oh, I forgot. I got to click. There you go. Ah, look at that. They're pulling back, but then they leave this these three armies up here to just be cut off unless they pull back in a second, which it doesn't look like they're going to do, but you never know. Oh, that's he's going to die. Yeah, he's going to die. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, man. Oh, no. He just died. And they're pushing forward. That's pretty amazing. Ah! Oh, that hurt. That's bad. No, we don't want this to happen. Reinforcing down there. But now they're pulling. It's weird. Well, we're going to wipe them out one way or the other. But, uh... Well, now that's really brilliant. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah. That's not what we wanted to see. Time to come to strike back at the treasonous British and American forces for the glory of the motherland. May victory be yours. Joseph Stalin. Stalin vows the workers of the world will defeat the capitalist West. Okay. Whatever you say now, you can upgrade this. I knew it. Uh, okay, so we can look at that. Wow. Well, it's a good thing that we did this. Now, before I get lost, let's research. Come on, Americans. Okay, Americans are the same. They're good on infantry, but lots of other things need some help. So we're going to do heavy tanks, which is going to take a big chunk. Yeah, I'll say. And the rest of this, let's see, can we kill this guy? Almost. You're a tactical bomber. Kill him. Thank you. You come up here and let's take on this guy. Beautiful. Awesome. He's gone. All right. So it's time to assault Berlin. And kill Zhukov, who should have gotten out of there, but he didn't. Awesome. So that's one six. That's two seven. We'll take that one. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I am running out of units to uh, man this long front. Oh, I can't move these guys. Ah. Okay, well, come on, buddy. Maybe we do need to operate you, spend a little money. Where can I put you if I operate you? Uh, not really where I need you, but you'll be closer that way. You've moved, you've moved, you've moved. You have not, though. So I tell you what, Ike, come on over here and just guard the approaches. Monte, come forward and uh, do whatever it is that you do. With your one army that you've got left. Wow. Uh, oh, and research. Let's get the French researching. Yep. Yeah, we're going to do that first. What do we got left? 141. Fine. Let's let them do. 
What? No, I thought. What happened? I screwed up. That's what happened. Well, nothing too terribly new about that. All right. Let's crack this nut here. Now, can I strike with... Do any damage there? Let's see. Well, I certainly did some damage to myself. It looks like I damaged them as well, so that's good. Ooh, beautiful. Took them right out. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that's not good. That's good. Eh, what's this? That's a little better. At least it's two to one. Oh, and I forgot about you, didn't I? Yes, I did. Beautiful. And you need to get your butt up here. So, um, come on up, Clark. Wow, man. We, uh, did I use all my, oh, no, I didn't. That's good, because I've got to get these guys moving. Like, in a hurry. Okay, let's pull you out here. And you are ready to go. So get you cranked up and moving. No, there we go. And let's send a cruiser with you. And let's send some destroyers out here as well. There's the Azores. Notice how this is a, a much smaller uh, Atlantic Ocean than you've got in SC uh, World War II right now. I bet these guys have got to be able to be upgraded. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Um, yeah, why not? I'd forgotten. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, you... Probably need to be upgraded. Ooh, yes, you do. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. I'm digging it. Let's get me some good, strong bombers. And bomb these babies into the Stone Age, as we like to say. Well, someone likes to say that. And... Okay, that's not working so great. Let's go ahead and pull you over here. And you should be good for something. How about taking him out? Or not. And apparently it's or not. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's pull some of you guys up a little bit. And that's just about going to do it for this turn and for this video, our very first one on Patton Drives East. Hope you enjoyed it, had some fun with it. We're going to play it through here and hopefully have a lot of fun. So stay with us as we play this fantasy scenario. And that's definitely what it is. It's fantasy. But nevertheless, it can be a lot of fun. And actually, oh, I must have upgraded him or something. Uh, so until next time, everybody, this is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this. And if you're enjoying it or not, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. A subscribe if you haven't done that. And I will see you later.